Okay, I'm now going to show the circuit operating. And um, the way I've got it set up is it's all running off of this 12 volt battery so that I can monitor the input, I'll monitor the input current and voltage. So, <clears throat> what I have is the circuit and it is oscillating around like 50 or 60 kilohertz and uh, and it's all going through this 4 ohm resistor so I can put a scope across it and measure the voltage across the resistor and calculate the input current and <clears throat> then calculate the input power. So at resonance I'm getting, uh, you know, it's powered by 12 volts, so I'm getting about 12 volts out on the positive end and 10 volts out on the negative end. So let's go ahead and do, go through and investigate what we have going on with our scope probe. Uh, first thing I'll measure is the input to the MOSFET gate. Just so we can see that. So here it is. It's a pretty low duty cycle um, that's the input and that is turning on the trans the uh, MOSFET here turning it on and off and we can then go across oh we just saw it across the LC circuit that was the original and now we can go across the resistor to measure input power. So going back to the scope <clears throat> and we notice it's about 0.2 with some peaks in there. So maybe, I don't know, 0 0.3, 0 0.25 uh, volts across the 4 ohm resistor. We'll just say 0.2 for now. That's uh, 50 milliamps. And the power for that is I squared times R, or just VI. And we know the input voltage is 12 volts from our lead acid battery times 0.5 equals 6, 6 uh, or 0 0.05. So it equals 600 milliwatts input power calculation there. Uh, 600 milliwatts input power, so less than a watt. Nothing here is getting hot, and it's really, the way it's designed is kind of robust because this is a 500 volt um, MOSFET. So I'm going to end the video here just showing the output waveform, the input waveform on the MOSFET, and the input current.